Sometimes things can happen in your life and throw you all the way off track. I mean like all the way. All the way so much that you start to feel hopeless. You start to feel like you can't go on. You wake up feeling depressed. You wake up feeling down. You wake up feeling like you don't have any reason to live. <laughs> if you don't have any reason to live, my dear, and you're waking up every day breathing, then you, <laughs> come on, snap out of it. You have a reason to live. I'm not doing this video that because, I'm not doing this video because I haven't been there and dealt with that. Oh, yes. I haven't, I've been there several times, okay? You name it. Feeling worthless, feeling hopeless, feeling like I can't go on, getting up, crying, can't pull it together, who struggling and asking myself, why, what happened, what happened? I know what happened, what got me down, but sometimes to get that inner strength is not easy. And baby, let me tell you something. If you are a believer, don't forget about God. Pick that Bible up and read. It's so much wisdom. It's so much wisdom in there. And pray and fast too. Fast and pray. It will take a lot for you to get yourself out of that hole. But if you stay in that gutter, honey, when the storm comes, the gutter is going to get full. And that that water is just going to wash you away farther down the drain. You don't want it to keep going like that. So get up. Get up. Get up and do something. Don't lose yourself. Don't lose yourself. When you lose yourself, you become a vegetable in your state of mind. And people start to look at you like, what happened to you? You lose your glow. And when you lose yourself, you become stagnant in life. You lose all your ability to attract the right people, the right circumstances, and the right opportunity. You are the only person that's, that's responsible for you. When you give up on yourself, there will be people who will not give up on you. But trust me, if you choose to give all the way up, people will try, try, try and get tired and just leave you behind right there. Like you don't want to do anything else with your life. Because the thing about not trying at all while people are trying to help you is you can drain other people who are trying to help you when you're not trying to help yourself. You can actually drain other people. So when people are trying to help you, help yourself. Do you believe in God? You better read that word of God. You better fast and pray. And the thing about fasting and praying and reading the good word of God to pull that strength from above. The thing about that is why you going through whatever you're going through, it's gonna seem like you're not coming out of it. But God, mm, 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 mm. God, that that healing process, that healing process is. It's a gradual thing. It's a gradual thing. Don't give up. That healing process is a gradual thing. It's not going to happen overnight. All the all, all the reading you've done of the Word of God, all the fasting and praying that you have done, is going. To, you are gradually, you are gradually going to come out of it. God does not bring you to anything. He's not going to take you out of. You just got to turn to Him and say, God, I need help. I need help. I need help. I can't do this by myself. You know. And a lot of times when we're going through things in life, sometimes it's our fault. Everything can be somebody else's fault. You can't put the blame on every somebody else all the time. Sometimes there are there are, there are personality characteristics, you know, and behaviors that can cause some of our downfalls in life, of or, or for some things, or for some failures to happen, for some miscarriages to happen. When you find yourself in certain place, don't just say, don't just say, screw it. It didn't work out. So what? Or, I don't care. Not that kind of behavior. Sometimes, everything that happens in life, there is something, there's a lesson in there to learn about yourself. Forget about learning about other people. You can learn about other people who you are keeping in your life. And for, for whatever value you hold for that person, for whatever you value that person for, you can learn them to try to, you know, to try to be able to uh, 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 continue your relationship with that person. But whatever happens in life, there is a lesson in it for you about yourself. You got to look at it from so many perspectives and see what you did wrong.
because you're not perfect i'm not i'm most certainly not perfect see what you did wrong when you start fasting and praying and reading the word of god and you see you, you you should be able to discern what about you that the devil always use against you to bring you down that the devil always use against you to destroy the good things in your life that the devil always use against you to destroy your relationship that the devil always use against you you know to destroy things that you are building in your life for the better I'm not just talking to talk. Oh. I'm not just talking to talk. I'm the kind of I'm, I'm the kind of female who grew up with strangers. I live with different different people. I went through rape and molestation, and all kinds of stuff. One thing I didn't grow up having is that fatherly foundation, and that and that and that foundation where somebody is there to talk to you and groom you mentally, emotionally, to 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 give you the wisdom on life, you know, to teach you about life, to prepare you for things that you may encounter. Having a person who will sit you down and educate you on life based on their experiences, based on things that they have discovered through research and reading, based on things that they have seen happen. Somebody who will sit there and prepare you and pour into you knowledge and give you a direction, things you need to do, books you need to read, how you need to study, how you need to govern yourself, how you need to behave, how you need to think and process through things when you're going through situations. I did not have that. I'm learning the hard way. I'm learning the hard way. I've struggled in a lot of relationships because I'm learning as I go. I'm learning as I go. But I don't regret because... I'm growing. So no matter what it is, let me tell you something. There is something about you that stinks that you need to work on as an individual. There is something about you that the devil will always use against you that will ruin good things in your life. You need to work, you need to work on it, pray about it, let it change. Let it change. It will not change overnight. But you gotta focus on it too. You know, you gotta keep it right there. So that you know when that feeling is coming, you just pray it out of your life. Because the devil, <laughs> the devil comes to steal and destroy. And the devil, the devil cannot use your strength to steal and destroy good things in your life. The devil will always use your weakness to steal and destroy good things in your life. I'm just saying, man. You know, I don't regret. Sometimes I feel like I wish I, I grew up in a a nice stable home where I had everything, I had a good foundation, I had a good upbringing with all the advice I need, with all the wisdom that I need, with all the education that I need from people who had life experiences. Sometimes I wish I had that. But there are people who had all that. They're running around acting dumb and stupid and doing the dumbest things and destroying their lives and being a total liability to the people who raised them right and being a liability to the system and, and society itself. There are some people who had everything I wish I had, but they haven't applied it to their lives. There are people who had everything that you wish you had, but they didn't use it to their advantage. So if you are somebody who never had nothing, but you've come somewhere and you have more than people who had everything and had the opportunity to do better than you, but they're not doing better than you, girl, I mean, boyfriend, you got to be proud of yourself. You have done, you have, you have done well. You have to be proud of yourself. You have to be proud of yourself. I don't care what mistakes you already made. You have to be proud of yourself. You have to be proud of yourself to come from nothing to something. Even through all the struggles, you're still standing. You got to be proud of yourself, man. You got to be proud of yourself. <laughs> I don't care what nobody said. I don't care who already walked away from you, okay? But people who see the, see the true value in you, no matter how much you struggle, no matter how much you struggle to become a better you, they will stick with you. They will stick with you. Because regardless of all your flaws, they see who you really are. They see your true value and they will stick with you. Yes, people who walk away, let them just walk. Let them just walk. I'm not saying trying to, don't don't try to 
work on yourself and keep good people in your life. Because if you're doing something that's driving good people away and you're struggling with it, you owe it to yourself to make that change. You owe it to yourself to build yourself so that, you know, you can have 100% success in a lot of the things that you're doing without you yourself being your own worst enemy and destroying whatever it is that will make your future bright tall. (laughs) 